who's up for a little show and tell? <laughs> Hey, I'm Father Mark Mary with the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, and this is Ascension Presents. This video is coming out on Christmas Day. And wouldn't it be beautiful? Wouldn't it be such a gift to be able to ponder and to contemplate the beautiful child born in Bethlehem? And wouldn't it be great to watch him grow and develop and mature uh, in Nazareth, and then to follow him to the, to the, the banks of the Jordan, um, to Galilee and Jerusalem, to Gethsemane, um, to the cross, um, to the resurrection. For those of you who could not be born and present in the first century, I'm going to give you my word. Dave Arab in the document from Vatican II on the scripture, it reminds us that when we, when we contemplate, when we pray with the scriptures, the church, it contemplates the face of God like in a mirror. Like you look in a mirror and it, and it shows you the face of one above. Like when we look at and pray with the scriptures, we literally contemplate the face of God, and we receive the life of God within us. So here's the thing, like the Bible is so important. And one of the great loves that has developed and that I've been convicted of again and again and again in the last 11 years of my spiritual life and into my priesthood is the value and the necessity to have a regular relationship with the Word of God. What, we're, what I'm going to do with this in this video is share with you some of the tools that I have used to study and to contemplate the face of God through the scriptures. And we're going to do it like in three parts, sort of like, okay, where to begin? Where to begin? And this is going to be the same place that the friars begin. If you want to go scripture 2.0, next level. And then finally, I'll share some resources that are like, kind of like, if you will, pro level tools for um, really understanding and studying the scriptures. First of all, I can't emphasize this enough. This is such a privileged moment to begin and to enter into a study of the scriptures. All of the friars, when we become postulants, the first stage of formation, all of us, and we've been doing it since before I began, which is 11 years ago. All of us go through Jeff Caven's Bible timeline. And now we have this great resource, like this, the Great Adventure Bible. And just so you know, I'm not just saying this for this video. Here we have a picture. We have a picture of our postulants with our man, Jeff. Jeff right there. They're big fans of Jeff Caven's. And when they heard that I knew him and could send this to him, they wanted a picture. So the Great Adventure, um, so the Bible timeline, the Great Adventure Bible. It's an incredible place, an incredible place and tool and resource, and there's no match for it for really um, beginning to understand the whole story of the scriptures. And we have, we have right, the Great Adventure Bible, which is in Spanish now, which is a huge win and a huge resource. On top of that, uh, Father Mike with Ascension, right, is beginning this year in January, uh, the Bible in a Year podcast. He's going to be talking about the scriptures and breaking it open every single day, like, my, my brothers and sisters, in all sincerity, this is a privileged time and way to really enter into and to study and understand, and understand the scriptures in a way which will serve you for the entirety of your life. And again, contemplation of the scriptures is contemplation of Christ. Study of scripture is studying the character, the person of God, is studying the person of Jesus who reveals to us the Father. My brothers and sisters, check this out. Great Adventure Bible. Bible timeline, Bible in a year with Father Mike Schmidt. Like this, this is this is where we begin, and this is a huge resource no matter where you're at. Okay, boom. Number one. Okay, number two, if you want to go a little bit further, this is what I recommend. It's a Bible commentary on the Gospel of Matthew by Erasmo Leva Maricakis, and it's put out by Ignatius Press. Okay, boom. It's a three-part series. I got them all. They're big. This man knows how to study and pray with. Um, and speak about and write about the scriptures. There is an incredible mixture of deep spirituality and love of the Lord, but also deep understanding of the languages and, and, and a real sincere desire to bring others to know Christ. This is, as, as we want to know Christ, like this is, this is step two. Um, there's a lot of books. It's a big series, Erasmo Leva Maricacus, Fire of Mercy. Uh, for the friars, we all begin with Jeff Cavins. And we all move into this. Now, if you want to really enrich your understanding, your study of the Old Testament, what I would recommend is it's also by Ignatius Press. It's called A Catholic Introduction to the, to the Bible, the Old Testament by Dr. Bergsma and Brant Petrie. I had Dr. Bergsma for a class on scripture and it was the best class I've ever had. And this is an incredible resource, again, to understand, to study, and to go another level deeper 
with uh, the Old Testament. Again, this is <laughs> this is a big book. So this is this is next step type of stuff. All right, we're starting to transition a little bit into more like academic, serious study mode. Synopsis of the four Gospels. It's edited by a guy whose last name is Aland, A-L-A-N-D. What the synopsis of the four Gospels does is it takes where there's uh, passages in the four Gospels that relate and puts them together on like the same page so that you can very easily reference, refer, um, and understand the different nativity accounts, the different transfiguration accounts, for example. Again, a really helpful, useful tool for going deeper in the study of the Gospels, which is a deeper study of the person of Jesus. What I'm going to share now, probably for most of you, is not necessary for you to get, but it might be cool for you to know that it exists. All right, so this is a Greek and English interlinearity um, New Testament by Zondervan. And what it does is it has like the English and it has the Greek text right next to each other. So you can see, right, the Gospels are written in Greek. And so what you can see is like, okay, here's like what it says in English. Here's the Greek words so that you can then look them up. And we have something cool called a concordance again by Zondervan, which helps you to look up where these words are used in different places, which help us understand the words and also make some connections that are intended by the, the sacred authors. And then lastly, if you want to go, you got to have, you have to learn the Greek alphabet for this one, but this is a Greek English lexicon, which you take the Greek words from there, look them up, you do a study of like what these words meant, but you have to at least learn the Greek um, alphabet. I don't know Greek, I know the Greek alphabet, and so these are all helpful for me to better understand the Gospels in um, their principal language, which was Greek. My brother says, this is a privileged moment for contemplating the face of Jesus. Um, and the privileged way to do it, that the way in which the church contemplates the face of Christ, like on a mirror, on our pilgrimage home where we will see him face to face, is with the scriptures. And Jeff Cavins and Ascension have given us this priceless resource introduction in the Bible timeline, the Great Adventure Bible itself, which has so much of the timeline within it, which is now available in Spanish as well, and can be accompanied with Father Mike's 20 to 25 minute um, talk conference teaching each day of the next year. This is a privileged moment. Take advantage of it. I can't imagine how much work it took Father Mike to record 20 to 25 minutes worth of content each day. He has done a great work for us. Let's reap the rewards. If you want to go deeper, especially in the Gospels, Erasmo Leiva Maricacus from Ignatius Press, his commentary on the Gospel of Matthew, Ignatius's commentary on the Old Testament by Bergsma and Petrie is a phenomenal resource. If you want to go to the more academic next level, a synopsis, interlinear Bible, concordance, Greek dictionary. My brothers and sisters, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas um, in response to the great gift that we have received in the birth of our Savior. Let us respond by deep reception and contemplation of the goodness that is our God. I thank you for watching. Remember, we are pilgrims on this earth. Somos peregrinos, poco a poco, little by little. Vamos a llegar. We're going to make it. See you again next week and uh, early Happy New Year.